All right. First of all, you have to have your target equation. This is what we're going for. All right. And so now we have to make these equations down here to look like the one that we're going for. So let's look here. We have two carbons, easy to start with. Do we have an equation with just plain old carbon in it? How many carbons does it have? How many do we need? So what do we got to do? So 2C plus 2H2O goes to make two carbon monoxides and two hydrogens. What do we got to do with our delta H? Double it without a calculator. What's it? What's it double up to? Two sixty-two point six kilojoules. All right. Next. Now, this next equation, number two, has water in it, which we eventually will need. But it also has CO2 in that we need, correct? We have CO2 as a product over here. Is it a product on this number two equation? Yes. How many CO2s do we need in the target? How many are in the this one? So, do we have to mess with the equation? So, write it down. Yep, I'll come back. All right, so now we're down to the final parts. We're kind of ignoring water right now because water will kind of sort itself out in the end. Now, we have methane, CH4, as a product in the target. Is it a product down here in number three? No, so what do we got to do? We got to flip it, but we have one methane, one methane, so we don't have to do anything but flip it. And once you get the hang of these, they get fairly fast and easy to do. Because we flipped it, what happens to our delta H? Becomes negative. Now, let's sort out what we got. I'm going to go to blue. We needed two C's. Do we have two C's? Yes, so we don't mess with that. We needed two waters. Uh-oh. I got two waters here. I got one water here. But can I get rid of one of those wa extra waters? Because I got one over here. So now I have my two waters. Now, I got two carbon monoxides right here. I don't need carbon monoxide in my target. Is there a place I can cancel those two carbon monoxides? Where? Which side? Left side here. Number two, get rid of those guys. Then, I got two hydrogens here. Do I, Why do you I got rid of the carbon monoxides. I don't need carbon monoxide, I need carbon dioxide. All right. Now, do I have hydrogen in my target? No. I got. No, I got a CO over here. I cancel and a CO here. Where? I can't Down here. Okay, there's one there, but then there's two up there. There's one there. All right. Now I have two hydrogens and one hydrogen. For a total of, do I have three on the left that we can eliminate? Boom, boom. Now I have my CH4 and I have my CO2 all on the correct sides, correct? 
What's my total going to be? Fifteen point three. Delta H total is fifteen point three kilojoules. Why did I flip the last one? Because I needed methane as a product because methane was a product up here. Yeah. So remember, you got to have everything on the right sides. Okay. Let's look at this guy. I guess calling it a guy is probably not right. This equation, formula, formula equation. But in foreign languages, it might have a gender attached to it. Right? Now, here's your target. Here's your target. And let's go through each equation real quick here, and I'm going to have you do two, two more. Yeah, we're going to work on three here right now. All right. Let's go through the first equation right here. What has it, what's it got in it that we can use that's in our target? NH3. It actually has hydrogen NH3 too, also. Is the NH3 on the correct side, and is the hydrogen on the correct side? Yes. So, let's just write it down. And we didn't mess with it, so it stays the same. All right, let's keep going. Now, so we've taken care of this equation here. Now, the next equation, does it have, let's switch colors. Does number two have what we need? As N2, does it have the correct amount and is it on the right side? Yes. Guys, question you ask, does it have the correct amount and is it on the correct side of the equation? And it is. So N2 plus two O's goes to make two NO2. And we didn't mess with it. <laughs> okay, guys. Then finally, finally, we got this equation. And let me go back to blue. We got water, hydrogen, and oxygen. Hmm. What are we going to do? Now, no, we got it. Here's, here's what you're going to look at. It's got, guys, it's got hydrogen in it. But how many waters have we got over here we got to get rid of on the, on the product side? And what, now listen, water's over here. So what, go ahead, Kennedy. Gonna leave it the same direction. Why? Because we gotta cancel them out. So Kennedy says times this by four. Kind of had a question mark after it, but she is correct. And what's four one halves? 
4 times 1 half is equal to what? 2. Now, what happens to our delta H now that we multiplied this by 4? we got to multiply it by 4. It's still negative because we did not... We did not flip it, so seventy-eight point seven times four is negative three fourteen point eight. Now let's look here. We got two NO2s on the left. Do we have two NO2s on the right? Yes. Get rid of them. We have seven hydrogens on the left. How many do we have on the right? Two. Four. four. Seven minus four is? So this goes to three. We have two H NH3s. Are we good to go on that? So we got this. We got this. Now we got to get rid of the waters. Got four here, four here. We need the N2. So we have, and then can we get rid of the oxygens? And what is our total going to be? What's our total going to be? Do some of the maths. And the answer is negative 206.8 kilojoules. Always put your units down. All right. Now, that is three. I want you to do a four and five on your own, and I'll give you this one's a little different. And here's our target. Now, in my first equation here, I have PCL3, phosphorus trichloride. And I have it up here. Is the phosphorus trichloride on the right side of the equation? The correct side, I mean. Yes, but how many up do I have in my target? How many peak phosphorus chlorides do I have in my target? One. How many do I have in my four? So what do I got to do? Divide the whole equation by four. What is six fourths? One and a half. What's my delta H going to be? Negative 203 oh, what? 25? Yeah. You sure? Pretty sure. Okay, yeah, that sounds right. Okay. Next. <clears throat> I have PCL5 up here. Phosphorus pentachloride. How many do I have here in the target? How many do I have here in my four? So what do I got to do? What's 10 fourths? What's 10 divided by four? Two and a half. And since I divided my equation by 4, I got to take 1146 and divide it by 4. What do we get? 28.5. Wait a minute. 280.5. Okay. 
286.5. All right. All right. Now, we got to get rid of stuff. A quarter of a P4. Can we get rid of them? Okay. Now, I have one and a half chlorines and two and a half chlorines. What's that reduced down to? One. And then I need to keep this. I need to keep this. And I need to keep this. So, what's our answer? Delta H equals 83.25 kilojoules.